Hello OSA, and today we're going to be going into Africa. We did a very short video on the Terracity, the South American Tetras, and for a long time people thought that anything that looked Tetra-like belonged in the Terracity. Once we had molecular and genetic techniques, biologists were like, that's a bunch of gunk. Turns out that all of the Tetras that were in Africa were their own fish. They were their own family, their own lineage. And now that we know that, we can treat them like they should be, their own separate thing. So in this tank, you see a lot of charismatic rainbow fish, the Melatoniidae. You even see some nice spanner cyprinids. But then you'll also see these really charismatic big tetras, a couple inches long. And these are Congo tetras. This family, the Elistidae, the African tetras, they evolved in the Congo, the Nile, and all these majestic, vast African river systems. And for that reason, they got scattered across the continent and became all kinds of shapes and sizes. Now, in the aquarium industry, we're most familiar with the ones that took the route of convergent evolution with tetras. So convergent evolution is a silly biologist word for two different organisms and two different places not related that ended up becoming the same shape because that's what was needed at the time. And if you're in the backwaters of the Amazon, you evolved to be a nice little insect-eating tetra. If you're in the backwaters of the Congo, you evolved to be a nice, slightly bigger, more charismatic African tetra. So that's where these Congo tetras, uh, these red-eyed tetras, and uh, some of these other African tetras come from, and why they were so confused with the South American tetras. Not all of them are more aggressive than South American tetras, but many of them can be, and many of them do require a little bit higher standard of water quality um, because they are from a little bit larger and less stagnant river systems. One of the things that's also really unique about this family is that even though some of the African tetras took the route of looking like regular small wimpy tetras, there are other members that turn into giant monster fish. So if you've ever seen the show River Monsters, you might remember the episode where he catches the giant African tiger fish. And that's actually a giant charismatic member of the Elistidae. So instead of taking the route of I'm going to be a small charismatic happy little uh, tetra like thing, uh, some of the members of this family turned into giant behemoths full of razor sharp teeth. So even though this family looks like it should belong in a couple other different families. We should always consider them uh, as they are. The Elisidae, the African tetras, united by the fact that they originate from the Congo and Nile river systems, and uh, members can be applicable to the smallest uh, polydarium tanks, large polydarium tanks, and then monster tanks as well. 